We love that women come in all shapes and sizes, and our gorgeous, versatile Flip It dress has been designed specifically to flatter every woman, no matter what her body shape. Today, I'm going to show you the wraps that suit our rosebud shapes best. If you're not sure what body shape you are, check out our Discover Your Shape guide on our website. If you're a rosebud shape, your shoulders are generally narrower than your hips. Ellie is a lovely rosebud shape, and I'm going to show you some of the Flip It wraps that will suit her best. One of the easiest and most flattering wraps for a rosebud shape is the plunge neckline. We're placing the dress on, feeding it through whichever hole you'd like to. There's no right or wrong. If that foot, my dear. Taking it through, what we're wanting to do is lift the waistline to rebalance the imbalance between the shoulders and the hips. So we're taking the dress up higher. Now we're twisting the fabric on the dress. We're not twisting the tie, nothing happens there. We're twisting the fabric and we're lifting it up. We're taking both ties backwards and we're bringing them back round to the front. Now what's lovely on a rosebud is a white, they always have the most beautiful waist. So we're widening the belt, we're bringing it back around and we're doing it up in front under the bust. What we don't want to do is bring any extra attention to the hips. So we're not tying the belt out here, we're not tying the belt in the middle, we're tying it directly under the bust. What a simple way to dress the plunge neckline up, simple flower placed right here. Wonderful, now we're going to show the beautiful classic wrap. It is as simple as putting the dress on back to front feeding the tie through either of the holes on either side, doesn't matter which. The reason this works so well and looks so beautiful is a rosebud always has this pronounced beautiful narrow waist. So this wrap tied back to front like this just brings to light that beautiful waist, balances the shoulders with the hips. So we could tie it simply with the tie or use our cocoa ring, so I'll show you both. We're taking the tie around twice, we're bringing it over and we're doing a wonderful little bow at the front. And it is simple as that. Look at that. Couldn't be easier. The next one we use, Coco. Now Coco is our stand-in. She could be a bracelet, anything that has lovely round circle. We use the ties to the front. We place the Coco on. Start higher on the ties. Don't feed it from down here. Bring the ties through the cocoa, separate the ties out and bring it to the middle, pulling it firmly and tying at the back. The only reason we tie at the back is there's no need to interrupt such a lovely line at the front. The beautiful classic wrap. Now we're going to show the square neckline. We're placing the dress on. We're choosing whichever side we'd like. There's no right or wrong with whichever side the tie goes through. We feed it through, we bring it to the front. Now what we're doing is we're taking that tie from just where it's joining here and lifting it up and feeding it under the bra, the slip, the dress. We're feeding it from inside to out and we're letting it go, that simple. The tie that's already through the dress, we're taking it up, inside to out, so holding the dress, holding the slip, fitting it inside, dropping it, it's as simple as that. Now what we're doing is pulling both ties backwards. So I take both ties in hand, I pull them backwards, cross them over and bring them back to the front. When I bring it to the front, we're remembering that this is a beautiful rosebud body with a gorgeous waist. So we're opening the tie, we're taking that across. I tend to utilize a side that is loose to tie the tie. So I bring it across, do her up, and she's done. Beautiful square neck and so simple to dress. I'm just going to add simple pearls and she's ready for the hot date.
wonderful. Now we're going to show the cowl neck wrap. It doesn't matter which side of the fabric you choose, they're both beautiful. What we're doing is we're taking the tie and feeding it through the hole. We are bringing the second tie up and lifting it up and under the straps. We're taking it from outside to in. So I'm taking the strap in my hand, the dress in my hand, I'm feeding it under and I'm allowing it like that. What I tend to do when I do this is I encourage a bit of a cowl into the neckline at this stage. Then I take this tie already fed through and again, outside to in. And I feed it through like that. Now that we've got this like this, I loosen it up a little bit. The trick with this neck is when you take both of these ties backwards, do it really softly. Sounds odd. If I pull it tight, we've got a square neck. If I take it back softly, the cowl neck remains in place. Again, I bring the ties around to the front. I do it up under the bust. And I encourage a cowl back into it. Now we're going to introduce the frame at Cardi. Excellent for whatever weather, whatever occasion. She can be worn long or she can be worn short as a shrug. Now the reason we adjust that is we're adjusting the proportions of the body. So we are taking the sleeve length up just to re recreate a bit of balance. Thank you my darling. We're taking that up. Now as beautiful as this is, we've taken away her waist. So we want to introduce it so simply by just taking both of the ties backwards and softly folding it at the back. We can either have it just looped or we can do a beautiful bow. And suddenly our frame at Cardi has become a shrug. <laughs>